Hi, my name's Rebecca, and in this film, I'm going to give you some top tips for improving questioning in maths. Now, the most effective type of questions you can use in maths are open questions because they require more than one answer. This is opposed to closed questions, such as what is three times eight, which would give you an answer of 24. It's a closed question. There's only one answer. Open questions are great because they require people to work together or think really creatively. They can come up with lots of different solutions. So let's have a look at some in action. Rather than asking a, qu a closed question, such as what is the difference between 25 and 17, which has one answer of eight, we could think about wording this slightly differently. For example, if you ask pupils to find three pairs of numbers which each have a difference of eight, they've got to think more deeply. They've got to draw on their reasoning skills more. You could challenge pupils further by saying to them that they need to use negative numbers in their answers or even use decimals. Let's have a look at another example. Here you could ask pupils how to group these numbers together and children can do this in a variety of ways. For example, they might group them as multiples of four. So we could have four, 12 and 20. They might choose the ones that have two tens in them, such as 20 and 23. There are lots of different solutions. This example is one of my favourites and it can be used in maths lessons and science lessons as well. Give them a graph. It could be a line graph, a bar chart, you could use pie charts, you could use Venn and Carroll diagrams. Take away some of the information and ask pupils what the graph could be showing. And this gets lots of discussion going in your classroom. Finally, you can get pupils to explain how they've learnt in that day. And this is really challenging for lots of pupils. Asking them things like, can you explain why you decided to do something in a certain way? Or how did you find that out? is hard for them, but it gets them really thinking and drawing on their reasoning skills. Don't forget when you're doing this for the first time, it's a really good idea to model it first. So there you go. There's just some simple ideas for how to improve questioning in your class.